Hi there, friends. First, I want to thank all of you for your support of my YouTube channel. It's clear that there are a great number of people out there who are really interested in and passionate about new thought and self-help and alternative spirituality. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Now, let me get to the point of this video. I've written many books over the years. Most of them have been on the law, but I've written a new book my latest book, and it's very different. It's not about the law. It's one about new thought and self-help and women and people who made a difference. The book is called Making Australia Positive, and it's subtitled The Story of Grace M. Aguilar and Venny Cooper Matheson, Two Women Who Made a Difference. Now, this book contains a great history of the new thought movement, concise but thorough, the history both in the United States and in Australia. The book traces the origins of new thought and discusses its main ideas. But the main focus of the book is on the lives of the two Australian women I just mentioned. They're not as well known as they ought to be. And I wrote the book to pay tribute to these two unsung Australian women of yesteryear. I knew neither of them, but I knew the husband of one of them. And he gave me a lot of incredible information which I've reproduced in the book. Both women were pioneering feminists, proto-feminists. They were itinerant speakers, indefatigable teachers, prolific self-publishers and writers. They were also spiritual healers and important exponents of alternative spirituality in Australia, the country where I live, where I was born, particularly in the first half of the 20th century. They were leaders of the Australian New Thought movement, pioneers. As you know, New Thought promotes a system of thought affirming the oneness of all life and the power of constructive thinking. Both these women believed Australia was the land of the dawning with a future that was limitless and boundless. And these utopian ideas occur in many of their writings. Both of these women believed in the power of women. They advocated female emancipation from what was then a hopelessly male-dominated oppressive society. They even argued for trial marriage, an easier no-fault divorce at a time when that was not available. These two women made a big difference. They deserve to be remembered, and that is why I wrote the book. The book is about 170 pages in length, and that includes some 16 pages of photos, many of them quite rare, being reproduced for the very first time. Now, the book is available in two formats, paperback and ebook. The book is only available from myself, the author. It can only be bought from me. It's not available in bookshops nor online, just from me. So, if you're interested in purchasing a copy of the book, there are details as to price and how to pay and order towards the end of this video. Prices are either in US dollars for orders outside Australia or in Australian dollars for orders within Australia where the book's been published. Prices include postage and handling. Of course, in the case of the e-book, there's no charge for postage and handling when it's dispatched. Basically, you pay first by PayPal, then you forward your address details to me by email, and I will dispatch the book promptly, or whatever copies of the book, number of copies of the book you desire. Please note that the supplies are strictly limited, which means that the book is available and offers can only be made while stocks last, okay? Now, I'm sure you will enjoy reading my book. I certainly hope so. And may your thoughts be forever new. God bless you all.